Just before donors were the 38 billion shillings meant for PRDP, donors had said conditions that the money be put on a withholding account in Bank of Uganda, while government contribution amounting to 120 billion was put on a consolidated account and controlled by the account general in the Ministry of Finance. This, according to anti-corruption coalition, was breached as the donors were never notified as the money was worth a crisis management account that had been dormant for two years without following step procedures. Under normal procedures, the donor money was supposed to move from a withholding to a consolidated account, then to the OPM account, where the money would be wired to the PRDP account, which was faulted. It's for this reason that the anti-corruption coalition is demanding that President Museveni takes political responsibility and sack the two political heads despite appearing before the Parliamentary Public Accounts Committee over the OPM cash bonanza. The President of the, ruling, the Republic of Uganda, who is the appointing authority, should have by now asked the Minister for Karaboja Affairs, who is the first lady, to step aside from her job. Questioning per se does not mean that money has been refunded. Because remember that as taxpayers, we have been deprived of our money that came from the consolidated fund. Their argument is based on the fact that all the illegal transactions took place at their knowledge, thus saying that the most important thing is refunding the money, not to serve its purpose in northern Uganda. Speaking during the Black Monday campaign press briefing in Kampala, the activists also questioned government intention to give each MP 5 million shillings facilitation for consultation on the margin divorce bill, wondering why they were never given money to consult electorates on the oil bill. I mean, where is government priority? And again, it's also coming at a time when most members of parliament are broke. It's not the first time that we have had members of parliament going and pleading and asking for, you know, money. Probably maybe this is a way in which government is, you know, the, 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 the executive is paying them back. Does it mean that government is now going to be facilitating MPs for each and every bill that comes to parliament? And with several bills lined up for reading on the floor of parliament, many questions arise as to whether its legislators will even be facilitated to consult on the public order management bill and the homosexuality bills. These, they say, governments reluctant to fighting corruption and addressing issues affecting Ugandans, adding that all culprits mentioned in the Auto General's report be held responsible and refund the money.